Sorry. All right, well, there is no trivia question now, because we are now where we need to be. All right, I thought that would take a little longer, but it did. All right, hey, hey, we are in for the win. Um, all right, so check it out. This is now all about what I want to do. I feel like a politician. This is what I'm going to do for J1 <laughs> Um I changed the name. I know some of you were part of the voting process with it being now called, now that it's outside of Philly, I mean, it still holds the record as Philly's number one anime convention. It's gonna take somebody seven years and over 3,000 people to beat it. So you gotta do both. So even if you beat the numbers, you still gotta be there for that many years. Until then, I'm still number one. <laughs> um, sorry, sorry, little Philly came out. Um, again, fight me. Um, so, with the showboat, these are some of the things that we're gonna have here. Real talk, they're working on putting, fixing up a rooftop pool at the con. Like, I'm trying to make this a vacation stay for y'all, for cheap. Like, y'all don't even understand. Like, there's the beach. You saw the, some of y'all earlier saw the beach video. Like, straight up, they rebuilt the beach from all the storms and all that stuff. That beach is on fresh sand, on your body. <laughs> and then we're gonna have 100 to 200 vendors. Y'all saw that video, because, you know, there were people here that were on time. I'm just, I'm just messing with y'all, I know it's bad track. <laughs> um, but they got to see the, they got to see the uh, walkthrough. It's on YouTube, just look up J1 Con 2018 walkthrough and watch it, it's funny. I'm on the toilet, right? Who was here and saw me on the toilet? <laughs> see? See, I was on the toilet. It's entertaining. Fun for all ages. Um, there's gonna be... So you saw the space the second time I ran down that hallway just to show you that the space that I'm using can hold five of last year's J1 cons in it. It's big. And all, for those who went to the warehouse, the gaming, remember? All right, yeah, now there's more people here. How many of you were at 2016 and went into the gaming building? How many of you went to the gaming building? Or at least saw the gaming building from it? All right, one or two extra people. The the where, the where main warehouse, how many of you remember the main warehouse of, of JRocon 2016, like that whole space? That's the size of the gaming building, the gaming room now. The gaming room is the size of that warehouse. So then, the, the actual vending area with the panels and all that stuff is easily three times that size. So it, it's big. Um, food and drinks wise, you don't have to worry about that because they have something similar to a Johnny Rockets that's inside the building. Like there's restaurants inside the hotel, right on the same floor as the con. There's gonna be at least four or five bars live during the time of the convention. So turn up, um, don't die. Uh, the other thing is, I don't want any bodies, all right? <laughs> Friday night, I hope some of you guys do like what you do with most cons, because this is the first time I've ever held it in a hotel. This is also a promise come to life. How many of you happen to be, I don't know, it was actually a different crowd now. Um, 2016, I had a press conference in Chinatown, and I promised everybody at that that, that uh, press conference. I was like, if you support 2016 and 2017, some way, somehow, I will put the con in a hotel for 2018. Facts. All right, so like, that's, that's, that, 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 check that off. Friday night, there will be a dance party. You know, like a rave, prom type thing, but not necessarily prom, because I want to keep the prom here in Philadelphia. So we're just gonna have a dance party. Well, you know, everybody can go in, dance, and I'm gonna figure out what, how my DJ setup will be, but it'll be, it'll be fun, it'll be festive. We're trying to build an arcade area in the gaming room. We're gonna see about renting about four to eight arcade machines and putting in there. I'm, I'm actually in talks with trying to get games like Crazy Taxi <laughs> and like, one of the Konami four-player games, like either Ninja Turtles, Ninja Simpsons, Turtles. Simpsons, Simpsons, I know, right? Simpsons, I don't yeah. Simpsons. DDR. Oh, we had DDR last year. Bring it back. We might. We, no, we're, we're trying. We are actually, we're, no, 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 look, we, we enjoyed the DDR, so we're trying to keep it there, but based on time and all that stuff, we may not be able to ship it 
there. Oh, so okay. it's, a, it's a whole thing. It's a whole lot of lot of things going on. Yeah. Logistics. Yeah. Why did I say it that way? <laughs> um, we're gonna have at least forty panels because we have roughly not counting the we have three panel areas that'll be running a panel per hour. Uh, and we're gonna probably open the doors at like eleven or so, like start the con officially at eleven, and probably end it around like eight or so. But then we also have other rooms. And plus we have the movie area, so we might break it up with one or two panels inside of that. Uh, so we're gonna have a lot of panels. And the place is pet friendly, so if you wanna cosplay your dog or cat, <laughs> please do, and bring that animal to the convention, because it is okay. <laughs> Are you, yeah, cosplay the animals, cosplay all the animals. Do not bring roaches. So, that does not count as an animal to cosplay. They have feelings too. They, I know they have feelings and they have rights. But we're, we're buggists? I don't know. Insects? In, in, I don't know. No, almost as insects. No, no, that's good. Wrong thing. It's not Game of Thrones. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The things that we will be providing at J1Con, outside of just the convention, is cosplay wrestling. In that video that you saw, I showed that space. I'm going to have a ring set up with a team of professional wrestlers who do cosplay and all that stuff. So it's actually gonna be there. They're gonna control and set that up. That's gonna happen like on the Sunday, like first thing in the Sunday. Um, the other thing is the Blackfinity Gauntlet. For those who do not know what that is, about a year or two ago, I, I'm part of a radio show called Black Triples, if you guys Woo! didn't know that. That's right, Black Triples. Yeah! Hey, y'all know yeah, that's right. I'm Spider Triple. Oh. <laughs> I'm the sexy one. No, 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 not. Um, but other black nerd podcasters came together and created a, a summit at Amalgam Comics and Coffee House. And it was a way for us to, like, kind of know each other and like to learn from each other because we didn't, in a sense, it's like, oh, we didn't know there was others like us. So then it became this whole thing that we're gonna put, and remember, everyone's included to, you know, come and all that stuff, but it's just a, a moment to shine on something you don't really hear. You hear about black nerds now, because now that's becoming a thing, like people now realize that black people like nerdy stuff. We've been black. The black people have been supporting Dragon Ball Z since like forever. Right? Facts. 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 And, 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 and the younger ones grew up with the Naruto. So like, like Dragon Ball Z is a black thing. Don't even think about Piccolo is black. So. And the best dad, best dad in the world. Not even his kid. He raised it. And then, so we're gonna have. A, so we're gonna have we're gonna have the Black Fanatic Gauntlet, which is all the different black podcasts from around the country. There will be workshops and all that stuff. There's going to be a different ticket price because there's gonna be set up workshops for those black podcasts to um, go and learn tricks of the trade and all stuff like that. Um, then we have the veteran discount. I haven't um, installed it yet, but there's going to be a, just like on the ticket form that we have on the con site where you buy your tickets, there's gonna be another one right below it that's for veterans. And that's, if you already bought your um, early bird special ticket, did any of you buy your early bird special tickets? Any of you? Yeah. Okay, there you go. I bought the table. Yeah, 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 bought the table. See, that's support. You got so your... Is there a late bird special? Yeah. Double. Today. <laughs> what you got in your pockets, bro? <laughs> no, I'll wait till later. <laughs> yeah, this was more than two bucks. Um.